Hi, everybody. Uh, today, I would like to show you how to make a control panel for either a spaceship or a submarine. It's your choice. Um, what I have today is a regular cereal box, and I just ripped open the side and turned it inside out. And if you want to really make it look like it wasn't a cereal box, you can get some tape and tape the sides together. On each side. And hopefully you guys have tape at home. If not, you can use glue or even string to tie it together. Hi. Hi. Look at the camera. Tell everybody say hi. Hi. What's your name? Toilet paper. No, not toilet paper. I'm Miss Sarah and this is Yay! That's right. And we're making a control panel. Okay. So, like this, it can stand up, and that way you can control boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, Pew. as needed. So, I have a lot of colorful pieces of paper, um, but if you, if you don't, that's okay. You can also just use regular white paper if that's all you have, or you could even, um, take like wrappers off of things that are different colors. But what I have to start with to cover my control panel is a, I chose a bright green one. And it's about the same size, this one is about the same size as my control panel box. So what I'm gonna do is fold mine over so that I know how much room I have to draw on. And then I'll fold it like this so I know what I'm making. I have a bunch of crayons, but I also have markers. You can also just use a pen or a pencil if that's all you have. And I'm gonna start making buttons. And they can look however you wanna make them. You can make buttons that look like this. What shape is that? It looks like a box. Golly. It's a square. I don't know if you knew it was a square. Yeah, I think you did. You knew it was a square. You could also make buttons that look round like this. You know what that is? Zen, what's that shape? Circle. Yes, a circle. You can make circle buttons. You can make buttons that look like this. Zen, do you know what that one is? Triangle. That's right. We just made a triangle button. Or sometimes control panels have long pieces of equipment with vents. Zigzag, zigzag. And you can color these buttons in however you want because this is your control panel. This is your board that will help take you anywhere you want to go. If you want it to take you somewhere far away into space or if it feels good to go down into the bottom of the ocean and look at all the beautiful creatures underneath the ocean but this is your choice sometimes they have these big pieces that do different things and different functions and it's your choice what it looks like but the main thing is to just make sure that you have lots of buttons. And this is my favorite part, my most fun favorite thing. You can get other pieces of paper and have a grown up help you always when you're using scissors. I'm gonna cut a little piece like this and then I'm gonna fold it in half like that and flip it out so it looks kind of like a little like a little house and then I'm gonna tape one side 
there. And the other side, I'm gonna bunch it up and tape the other side there. And what I've made is a little Wowie. switch. And if you wanna really go ahead and pull your switch up and down, make sure you put extra tape like, here like, and here. And you can make as many switches on your board as you want to. It's really fun, I love the switches. Zigzag. Some boards have strange speakers so that you can press a button and call out to somebody like, boop, mission control, mission control. Can you hear me, can you hear me? So now that I think I've put a, a good amount of buttons on my control panel, you can attach it either with tape or with glue. I have some glue here and I love using the purple glue if you have it because when you draw with it, you know how much glue you're putting on. And I'm holding really tight on my glue and I'm swirling it around so that it really will stick good to my board. And there you have it. It's a control panel and it can look however you want it to make it look. Every button can be a different function. This button could be what sends you out into space. This button could be what opens and closes the hatch. This button could be the animal button that helps tell you all the facts about the animals of whatever you're looking at under the ocean or in, the, in space. Zenny, do you want to press some of the buttons? My flip, 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 flip. How many buttons did I make? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Well, thanks for joining us. If you would like, go ahead and make your own control panel. And the next time we have a Zoom Daddy, together, uh -huh. it would be really fun if you could show yours Mommy and maybe can. tell us a little bit about Daddy what you decided it was, a control Daddy, panel Daddy, of your choice. Daddy. Thanks for joining us. This was Miss Sarah, and this is... Yay! Bye! Bye!